Horizon Zero Dawn is a technical marvel, probably one of the best looking games you'll see on PlayStation 4 yet, although we all know that Guerrilla Games have a habit of releasing titles which look good, so with this being a studio's first venture into the world of open RPGs, perhaps we should be more concerned with how it plays. Taking the role of Alloy, in Horizon you'll find yourself in a beautiful open world which is full of danger. Our protagonist is an outsider, raised by our outcast father Rost, who like Alloy, has been shunned by the rest of the Nora tribe. It all starts a bit slow as you're introduced to Alloy as a youngster, finding her wandering through a cave and coming across a piece of tech which will prove crucial throughout the upcoming adventure. You're then introduced to combat and some other staples of the game mechanics, such as gathering materials to use for healing and to make use of to make crucial equipment such as arrows. It's after this introduction the game really starts to open up, introducing you to a fully grown ally who suddenly has a large world open up for her to explore. As you'll soon discover, in this respect Horizon feels very much like many other RPGs, offering up the ability to follow the main questline while also wandering off the beaten path to talk to NPCs and take part in various side quests. Or if you like, you can just spend your time exploring the land, gathering materials which can be then traded for new weapons and equipment. When it comes to the action, what makes Horizon Zero Dawn stand out from crowd is the fact that you'll find yourself up against some of the most impressive enemies you've ever seen. These machines take the guise of what can only be described as robotic beasts, some of which will patrol and set routes and immediately attack you unspotted, even continuing to hunt you down should they lose sight of you. A swift arrow to the eye will take care of this watcher, however, a missing arrow will cause you all sorts of problems as you fight to take it down in what's generally a kill or be killed scenario. In all honesty, when you venture further into the game, the watchers will become the least of your problems as you'll meet up with the likes of huge mechanical creatures such as Snap Maws, Ravengers and Thunderjaw, all of which will test your patience and combat skills to the limit. You'll need to use everything you have at your disposal here, dodging attacks and placing traps before using the scanner you find at the beginning of the game to take out weak spots and take these beastly creatures out. Luckily you do have help, for as you explore and trade, you unlock more of Alloy's arsenal, gaining infused arrows, the rope caster, which shoots out ropes to immobilize enemies, the trip caster, which lays explosive trip wires at a range. In addition, each weapon has slots for mods, so as you unlock better and more powerful weapons, you'll build up a collection of mods that you can combine to give Alloy much more of an advantage. Generally, the secret is A, not to panic, and B, to take the silent path, hiding in tall grass and using Alloy's concentration skill to zoom in and out of the enemy, slowing time for a limited period, allowing you to make sure you don't miss. This takes time and patience, of course, but it's better than going in all arrows blazing and having a pack of bloodthirsty machines on your back. If you want to take a different tack, then overriding machines helps mix things up further, allowing you to ride them or have them fight for you as you watch from above, far from the chaos of the battlefield. The ability to override comes a lot later in the game, and as this is an RPG, you also gain other skills which you can unlock as you level up. When wandering across the lands, you'll also come across hostile humans, who generally take residence in camps. Clearing these humans out can become quite addictive as you look to gain XP and loot, which will help you in your quest to become all the more powerful. Finding these camps is all part of the experience, and at least offers a different type of challenge from the large, more aggressive beasts. As you'd expect, there's all manners of missions to find, which pop up on your map when selected, allowing you to head in the direction you need, swaying off the path if you find anything else of interest. Like most RPGs, side missions generally have you fetching or killing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing as any excuse to wander the beautiful world of Horizon is a welcome one. The main missions is where it's at though, seeing you unravel the mystery of the world and challenging you every step of the way. While the story could perhaps flow better, you're sure to love every minute you spend trying to get through these challenging and often surprising quests. As mentioned plenty of times already, Horizon offers up a beautiful and varied world, whether you're looking out at snow-covered mountains, wandering through forests, swimming underwater or heading across sandy desert, searching out for campfires where you can save your progress before an inevitable death loses you some. There's no doubt Horizon is a stunning technical achievement, which is probably why you'll spend half your time in the game in the equally impressive photo mode, capturing all your progress for others to see, while proving to everyone what a great eye you have for a photo. There's just so much to love about Horizon Zero Dawn, 
that you could easily lose yourself in it for the rest of the year. It's a technical masterpiece with the action to match. Guerrilla, most famous for the Killzone series, has really outdone itself with its first venture into what could have been a very risky genre for the developer, but it seems to me it's already created one of the best open world RPGs around, and that's at the first attempt.